having now int introduced the various elements of the staining tray, we're now going to uh, undertake a, a complete hematopsin and eosin stain. Step one will be, of course, um, de waxing your section. And you'll notice that if you um, look um, at your, your slide, um, you will see the tissue surrounded in a coating of wax. The other thing that you'll note that I've already done, using pencil, and imp it's important to use pencil as I'll demonstrate later, um, uh, the name of the tissue, and you would also, in a teaching situation, put your name on at that particular point, because uh, you actually will be, for the most part, working with a partner throughout the three years that you are going to be doing histology in these laboratories. So that is the paraffin wax um, section. And we are now ready to go into the first uh, part of the process. Remember, that is taking sections to water, which, as I sh showed you earlier, is the process of de-waxing and then hydrating the tissue through the series of alcohols, which we've already talked about, down to water. And it's at, only at that point that the staining uh, process takes place. Now, we are now going to um, set up the first step. So this is the de-waxing uh, agent. And I'm now going to place the slide into there. Now, you'll notice, by the way, in terms of safety, I've actually got a gloved hand, and I've taken the lid off, but I'm also going to use... Uh, these forceps to actually place the slide into the um, jar. Now these jars are called coupling jars, which come actually fr from uh, the, the Latin, um, which actually means dead flesh, which is literally what we've got, we've actually got in in this this setup. Now I'm. Um, seal the lid and we're now going to um, de-wax the uh, section for um, a, a period of 10 minutes. Okay, now the section is now been in the, the waxing agent uh, and all of the wax should have now been removed. Our next step is to take it into the uh, first step of the hydration uh, stage. Here we're going to transfer the section into our first um, concentration of alcohol, 100% alcohol. Now, I brought this particular uh, coupling jar out onto the bench at this particular point in time just to load the section. I do not want you to ever leave your slides in the coupling jars out on the bench. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to transfer the slides across into the alcohol very quickly and the one thing that I haven't shown you at this particular point in time is that there are slots inside the, the jar to actually hold this section into place. Um, I will show you those um, at the next time we transfer the slide ac across into um, a second alcohol. So now I'm pushing that back into position. The slides are now in the alcohol and they're going to remain in here for approximately two minutes. We're now going to transfer our sections to the second of the jars. That is now ready. We can now proceed for a second two minutes. Uh, two minutes have passed, so we can now transfer our section across to the 
first of the 95% alcohols. So we remove the lid and then we take our section into the 95% alcohol. And again, we repeat the process of uh, a further two minutes. Okay, now we have uh, gone through the initial process of de-waxing and the process of de taking the sections to water, i.e. to hydrate through a um, decreasing uh, concentration of alcohol. The slide at the present moment is in the 70% alcohol uh, and we are now about to transfer across into water. So I'll take out the 70% alcohol where our section is, and I'm going to now transfer across to water. At this step in the proceedings, you can actually leave your section quite happily um, in water and maybe start uh, another slide. So there is the section now in water uh, ready for the first step of the staining procedure. Okay we're now at a position to start the staining procedure. First of all I'd like to show you the porcelain tray that you're going to be using for the uh, hematoxin and eosin staining. You'll notice that it's actually got raised ridges. This actually is going to enable you um, once you've got the slide in place to be able to lift it, your slide up easily with your forceps. So we'll now transfer your section across for the very first part of the staining procedure. I'll put it into position and we are ready to go. I'm now going to place several drops of the mare's emalum onto the section uh, sufficient to cover it. So we're now going to add the dye. So, and the next step is to start the clock for five minutes and five minutes only. Okay, it's two minutes uh, into the process we're now going to get ourselves ready for the next step which in fact um, at the end of five minutes we're going to rinse the uh, section in purified water uh, and then we will carry out the uh, differentiation step with acid alcohol and finally the bluing process uh, with Scott's that water. I'm now going to actually put the um, H2 uh, into the And the other thing that we need to prepare at this particular point in time is in fact the Scotch tap water. Now, the, the difference between the um, water and the Scotch tap water to date is that this is in fact town tap water. Um, it's got um, a slightly more alkali pH, but it isn't sufficient to actually um, serve the purposes of tipping the alkalinity above pH um, 6. So therefore it's at this point that we are, I will going to add 10 drops of Scott's tap water in readiness for the next step. So I'm now going to add 10 drops of Scott's tap water to uh, the second container. Now this will in fact provide us with a really alkali uh, solution. So that is the Scott's section's now been staining in the mayor's hematoxylin uh, for five minutes. Our first step then is to actually rinse the slide. I'm actually going to, for convenience uh, of this process, to lift it up and drain it down. It's then going to go into water for a quick rinse. The next step then is to add some acid alcohol. I am literally going to take two drops of it and put it at the edge of the slide and then I'm going to 
trail the acid across the slide and it will gently run across the surface and as it drains down it will actually take out any excess stain. Our next step is to blue the slide, that is to actually produce this uh, alkaline lac or lake. We will now place into the scots uh, that we've prepared and leave it for five minutes.